Hi everyone, uh, this is a tutorial to go over unit conversions. The um, Usually when we introduce this we talk a lot about going back and forth between the metric and the American, standard American units, British units, um, imperial units, whatever you want to call them. I'm going to focus just in this video on metric units since that's the most important part of what we're going to be doing going forward. So the key thing is that if you have one meter uh, in the metric system, that's going to be always equal to 100 centimeters, 1,000 millimeters, a million micrometers, or a billion nanometers. And these go on. You can have various other uh, equalities. Um, so, for example, uh, there's the other ones that matter would be things like one kilometer is 1,000 meters. Um, so those are the um, those are the sort of conversions that we're going to use in the metric system. Notice that they're all just powers of ten, um, and um, there's no like twelve inches in a feet or eight fluid ounces in a cup or any of those kind of things to remember when you're um, working with metric. And that's why they are in general easier to use. However, it, re it requires some familiarity, so you have to know that the centi prefix in front of a unit means there's a hundred of those. Uh, the milli prefix in front of the unit means there's a thousand of those. The micro, this is the lo lowercase mu from the Greek alphabet. Uh, the micro prefix means a million and the nano prefix means a billion. So it doesn't matter if we're talking about meters or grams or um, <clears throat> uh, coulombs or whatever other unit you have. These prefixes still correspond to these numbers. Okay, so let's say, for example, I asked you to convert Um, 1,290 um, micrograms to grams, all right? So the micro prefix again means one times 10 to the sixth or a million. So we would set that up where we have 1,290 micrograms. And every time we do a conversion, we always, whatever the unit we're trying to get rid of, which is the unit we have here, that always matches the unit in the denominator. The unit we're going to goes in the numerator. And now we come up here and we say, oh, micro corresponds to a million or one times 10 to the sixth micrograms per every one base unit or one gram. All right. And now we're done. That's all we have to do is utilize the prefixes to get the numbers right. And then um, uh, and then, as always with conversions, whatever the unit is here, that matches our unit in the denominator. The unit we're going to goes in the numerator. So this is going to come out to be 1.29 times 10 to the minus 2 power. Um, uh, or you could write it as 0 0.0129, either of those. Notice that the micrograms cancel, the new unit is grams. All right, and either one of those would be an acceptable answer. Notice that we have th we started with three significant digits because that zero there is not significant. It's a leading, or it's a, uh, it is not the ending zero after a decimal. So that doesn't count as significant. So we've got three significant digits there. We have three here. We have three here. That zero is not significant. It's not an ending zero after decimals. So it doesn't count. All right. And then we can do this with any any unit whatsoever um, that we want. It really doesn't matter. So one that comes up a lot in chemistry is milliliters, all right? So let's say that you were um, asked to convert uh, from, convert uh, 0 0.00195, um, let's say milliliters to microliters, all right? So now um, there's two ways to do this and I don't really care which one you do. I'm gonna show you the easiest one, and then um, you can choose to do it the other way if you'd like. Um, so we start with the 00195 milliliters, and we know that that milli prefix means a thousand. So there's a thousand milliliters in one liter. So I'm going back to the base unit here, and now I'm going to go from that again, whatever unit you have here matches the unit down in the denominator, those cancel out. Now I'm going to put liters here and go to microliters and say that there's one times 10 to the six microliters in every one liter. Again, we know that that micro pre prefix means um, 
or that lowercase mu micro prefix means one times 10 to the sixth micro whatever is per one whatever, all right? Leaders cancel out, all right? And now we're gonna multiply across and that's going to come out to be 1.95 microliters, all right? And so um, this is just a quick, short introduction to the, the, um, the metric system and doing unit conversions within the metric system. Um, another way that um, it can help to picture this is that whatever your base unit is, and let's do liters this time because we're doing liters, um, that the liters are connected to each of the, um, of the um, smaller units. Uh, and on the line, we're going to write what their conversion is. Um, so, oops, sorry. Uh, so if we go from liters to centiliters, one liter is 100 centiliters. If we go from liters to milliliters, uh, one liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. If we go to microliters, one liter is equal to one times 10 to the sixth microliters, or we can go to nanoliters. We can kind of do this all day. One liter is equal to uh, one times 10 to the ninth nanoliters, all right? And so this just gives us a roadmap for getting back and forth um, through all of our units. I'm connecting them all back to the base unit here, just as I did in this problem here. So if we think of this in terms of the map, we went from milliliters to liters using the one liter is a thousand milliliters conversion. And then from liters, we went to microliters. So we went milliliters to liters, liters to microliters, milliliters to liters, liters to microliters. Um, it's gonna be really helpful if you just memorize these. Um, a lot of times in class, I'm gonna give you the crutch of I'm gonna provide these for you, but really you should be familiar with centi, milli, micro, nano, and then um, kilo, as I mentioned either earlier, a kiloliter would be a thousand liters, all right? Um, so that's the introduction to the metric system with conversion factors.